Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from a new book of cookery from 1921, we're going to make the Rochester chocolate sandwich. First thing we got to do is cream some butter. Now we gradually add in sugar. Now we add in a beaten egg, melted unsweetened chocolate. Now we add in milk and flour that has been sifted with baking powder. Yours truly read the recipe wrong. It's supposed to be one and a quarter cups of flour. <laughs> ah, me and baking. Oil and water. Okay, now we're supposed to pat this kind of thin. It's still pretty wet on a floured board. Now we uh, cut out rounds. Now we bake in a moderate oven, which is about 350. It does not say for how long. All right, well, that's bacon. Let's uh, work some cream cheese until smooth. Now we add a little cream until it is the right consistency to spread. I guess we'll know when we see it. Now here's where it gets weird. It says to season highly with paprika and salt. Okay, now that the uh, cookies have cooled, uh, we go ahead and spread our filling onto the cookie. Okay, let's give this Rochester chocolate sandwich a go. This is actually pretty good. Uh, the salt is a flavor enhancer and it's kind of working well with the chocolate. The paprika is a little interesting, but it's not bad. I do think I made the cookies a little bit too big because um, there's not quite enough filling, but it's still pretty good. I do want to plus it up. I'm going to do two different plus ups. Cherries and sliced strawberries. Okay, let's give the Rochester chocolate sandwich plussed up with sliced strawberries a go. Obviously chocolate, strawberries, classic combo. A little cream cheese, a little cream, salt. Paprika isn't interfering in any way. That's pretty tasty. Next up, let's give the Rochester chocolate sandwich plussed up with some cherries. Go. That is good. Actually, I think I like the cherries better, but the strawberries are good too. All right, the original Rochester chocolate sandwich. You know, that was actually pretty tasty and that was pretty good. I think if I had gotten the ratio of the uh, size of the cookie to the filling, it would have been even better. As a little dessert, I'm gonna give it an eight. Um, plussed up with the strawberry, eight and a half. Plussed up with the cherries, nine. That is delicious. And right about now, I am gonna finish that. And I don't know that I would make it again just because it's a process, but still pretty tasty. All right, see you tomorrow.